morning and thank you for joining our daily outlook. And today we'll cover the changes in the euro dollar pair. Emma will be sharing insights from our trading desk. The last session saw the euro drop 0.7% against the dollar. The ROC is giving a negative signal. The Bitcoin dollar pair made a minor upwards correction in the last session, gaining 0.2%. The CCI is giving a positive signal. The pound dipped a slight 0.2% against the dollar in the last session. According to the stochastic RSI, we are in an oversold market. The Aussie dipped a slight 0.2% against the dollar in the last session. The stochastic indicator is giving a negative signal. Thank you, Emma, for sharing with us. Now let's hear our news department. Oil prices fell to a 12-week low, with futures for Brent crude trading below $100 a barrel for the first time since April, as fears of a global recession weigh on prices. Asian stocks slipped and the dollar stood by a two-decade high on the euro, as investor fears deepen that the continent is leading the world into recession, while oil and European equity futures attempted to steady after a slide. Binance, one of the world's largest cryptocurrency exchanges by trading volume, said it would remove trading fees of many of its Bitcoin trading pairs, including USDT, USDC, EUR, and more. Thank you, Emma. Now let's hear today's most important economic events. The US ADP employment change will be released at 12.15 GMT. Japan's overall household spending at 23.30 GMT and Australia's trade balance at 01.30 GMT. The Dutch Consumer Price Index will be released at 04.30 GMT. Japan's current account at 23.50 GMT and Germany's industrial production at 0600 hours GMT. We hope that you've enjoyed today's market outlook. On behalf of all of us here, we wish you a productive trading day. Be sure to log in tomorrow morning for the latest news and events from the financial markets.